Hello everyone, it's Myla. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be going over my last few L3 Waxy Wonders hauls that I've placed. Um, like a lot of other people, I know that they are stocking up because she is closing in September and I've kind of been doing the same thing. So I want to go through my orders because Lofa Palooza is coming up. And I want to see what I have before I place another order for Lofa Palooza. Um, yeah, I think I have one, two, three orders to go through right now, maybe four. Um, yeah, and I also placed a pre order with her too, like her last pre order that she had. Um, I have that coming in too. So um, yeah, love L3. Um, fabulous, fabulous vendor and let's get into this i hope you're all doing well so um i know by the time i post this loafa palooza will be over so but i figured let's go over it so and i can catch up on some of my wax holes so all right so i have i don't know this was a random order so this is um love it first bite and it's a uh, blueberry strawberry pound cake and don't cross stream And I've been buying like L3 and like D stash too. So, oh my gosh, that is so good. I love blueberry. So, and strawberry. And I actually picked up a, I think it's blueberry with cupcakes at Tiffany's or Sugar Cookie Royale and a D stash. Oh, it's so good with the blueberry and the strawberry. Very like, very like, beautiful. She does bakery very, very well. So, that's love at first bite. And this one caught my eye. Like I remember seeing this on the website for a little bit and I was like, nobody picked this up. This sounds so good. Or maybe some people did pick it up. But this is Coconut Lee's Palo Santo Smoked Vanilla Cocoa Butter Cashmere. And... Oh, this is so beautiful. It's the coconut leaves. It's not like a beachy coconut. There's cocoa butter in here too. So it's like cocoa butter, a hint of coconut. The Palo's in there, gives it a nice smoky vibe. And um, you have the cash, cocoa butter cashmere, excuse me. Oh, I love that. That's so pretty. Especially with the cocoa butter and the Palo in there. That's really, really pretty. What a nice mixed mix. Smoked vanilla's in there too. This is so, so pretty, yes. Very happy to have that. She's very generous on samples. So I have quite a few samples to go over, but I'll do that at the end. Um, you know what, let's do it this way. There's a box that came in. Okay, so this was like a ready to ship that I placed. So I was like, well, let's do it. All right, so I have Season of the Witch, which is, uh, today is October 3rd, and this is a bougie bar, bougie bar? And that is our highly sought after apples and leaves um, blend with Palo Santo sugar, cookie royale, and toasted mallow. I think I grabbed some. This is really pretty. It's a nice apple blend. Is it apples and leaves? I might have picked this up in the pre order too. But this is nice because it has the today is October 3rd in here. A nice fall scent. It reminds me of fall. So beautiful with the apples and the palo. So that is season of the witch. Uh, today is October 3rd. I got a lot of palo, so. <laughs> um, I picked up black amber, uh, blackberry palo santo. And this is in the fluted tarts. Pretty, pretty purple. Hmm. It's kind of coming across a little bit like patchouli. Maybe because it's amber and Palo Santo. And the blackberry is a nice mix. Just a nice mix. Oh, I like that. It's different. I don't have anything like this in my collection, so happy to have it. Eh, I'm trying to keep them flat. Okay. That was blackberry, black amber, blackberry Palo Santo. I don't know if I'm going to break this down into two videos. 
Um, I'll try to move kind of quickly through it. This is Palo Santo and Don't, Don't Cross Streams. I love the Don't Cross Streams um, blend. It's like a vanilla bakery blend. And then you have Palo Santo in there. So um, I got another set of fluted tarts. So, and it's like a, a smoky vanilla uh, bakery. Again, love Palo or October 3rd with like bakery. So happy to pick that one up. Palo Santo, don't cross streams. Okay, there's a loaf. I'll go through this. So I picked up um, Palo Santo and cotton candy. And here's the blend here. I love the pink. Um, a lot of people were ta uh, talking about this blend on her Facebook group. So I wanted to grab it. And it's so good because I love cotton candy or cotton candy frosting. And her cotton candy is really good mixed with the Palo Santo. It's sweet. A little, it's mostly, I'm mostly getting cotton candy with like a hint of the smokiness from the Palo Santo. What a great mix. Great, great mix. Palo Santo and cotton candy. And let me know in the comments if you guys... Um, picked up any of the same blends or have them in your collection. I would love to hear your thoughts on that. This one is really good. This is Beach Nights Bath and Body Works type Palo Santo and Sugar Cookie Royale. Oh, her Beach Nights is really, really good. Mixed with the Palo and this, this is such a great uh, blend. Oh, I need to write this down. This is really, really good. Beach Nights um, with Palo Santo and Sugar Cookie Royale. It's the Beach Nights, the Sugar Cookie, and the Palo. It's just blended so well in there. It's so pretty. Um, wave Bars? No. Cloud Cakes, I think these are called. Look how pretty that is, huh? I love that. Mmm, that is pretty. It's like a smoky Beach Nights. But you're getting, it's like, but the Beach Nights is sweetened with the um, Sugar Cookie Royale. Eh, I'm trying to zip it back up. So, okay, so I have that one. This is Pink Sugar Cotton Candy and Wood Smoke. I'm like, what did I do with my invoice? Oh, it's pretty. I smell the pink sugar, the cotton candy. And a hint of that wood smoke in the background. Oh, this is probably going to be beautiful and warm. Wow. Okay. Don't really have much wood smoke in my collection. So I was like, let's try that. Those are, it's pink sugar and cotton candy. Love that. So yeah, this is very, very pretty. Very nice. This is drums of autumn pie crust. Let me see if I can find the, um, Excuse me. The invoice. Is this it? I got a puppy, by the way. So, and um, he's in the process of being trained. So, and I can hear my husband. <laughs> I think he might have peed, even though we've been taking him out every few hours, but it takes time. Um, so, yeah, Drums of Autumn Pie Crust is Fallen Leaves with the Flaky pie crust in a bakery bomb and I think fallen leaves might have maybe have an apple blend in there I love these pies I definitely smell like an apple it definitely smells fallish to me oh it's so pretty with the bakery in there yeah I love these pies so I picked up drums of autumn pie crust Yes. A pie there, a pie here. I have another pie, and this is Mischief Managed Pie Crust, and it's a mystical blend of Palo Santo, Blue Sugar, and Toasted Mallow. And this is so good. This is the, um, the Blue Sugar and the Palo with the um, bakery notes. I love that. And I love how like vibrant pink the pie is. I got a little beat up like coming to my home, but oh my gosh, the blue sugar. 
loving blue sugar. So, especially with bakery. Mm, that is so good. Mischief of Managed Pie Crust. Yeah. Uh, let's go over some puppy packs. I picked up Palo Santo, Mac Apple, and Smoked Vanilla. Again, I was on a whole Palo kick when I was ordering through this, this order. And it's um, Palo Santo with Mac Apple. So I smell the apple and like the smoked vanilla. I like to see how this comes out on warm. How cute these puppy packs are, huh? This the shapes. Oh, it's like a music sign. How cute. Really cute. Mm, that's good. That'd be a nice fall scent too. It doesn't have to be. You can melt apple whenever you want. But yeah, Mac Apple, Palo Santo, Mac Apple, and smoked vanilla. I like that smoked vanilla note in there. Okay, I have Oregon, Oregon Autumn, Seattle Rain, Sunwash Linen Type, and Mac Apple. Oh, that's pretty. It's like a it's like a laundry scent, but it's a pretty laundry scent because you're smelling the apple in there and the rain. So it's not like a you know, some laundry scents can be like, whoa, it's not like that at all. Oh, what a great blend this is. Autumn, Oregon, Autumn, Seattle Rain, Sunwash Linen, and that Mac Apple in there. Oh, that's pretty. That is really, really pretty. I like that laundry, um, wash linen, the, the apple and the rain. It's just a, a great combo. Very, very nice. Okay, I picked up Swimming Pool and Blueberry Sugar. And I love the swimming pool um, blend, so that's different. I can smell the swimming pool. I like that. Mmm, nice. It goes well with the blueberry sugar. Little pieces in here. That's so cute. Yeah, very nice, fresh. But it has the sweetness of the blueberry sugar in there from the swimming pool. The freshness from the swimming pool, I should say. It's a unique scent, swimming pool. So I like that. All right. Evening in the Hamptons with rainstorm and June grass. Very fresh. Okay. So evening in the Hamptons. I smell the rainstorm. Mm. And the grass note is in there. Oh, that's nice. It's just very fresh, and I can smell the grass note in there. Mm, that rainstorm is so pretty. Yeah, great time to melt these type of blends, too. Okay. And this one I picked up, I don't, I just saw that on there. It was like exotic coconut, um, coconut cream, boardwalk mallow clouds. So a coconut blend with that boardwalk marshmallow clouds. This is a pretty coconut. It's a sweet coconut, kind of a little, a little suntan lotion-ish, but, but it's sweet because there's coconut cream too in there. Ooh, that's nice. And then you get that sandalwood vanilla note and the marshmallow from the boardwalk marshmallow clouds. Mmm like a vanilla coconut sandalwood that's pretty if you like coconut blends you would like this one very nice and it's not too heavy on the sandalwood because I know the boardwalk mallow clouds has that in there so all right let's get into this box here oh boy I think this was her like scoopa scoopa palooza there's loaf of palooza and scoop of palooza. All right. Oh, this was part of one of my orders. I just threw this in here. So this is um, wildberry mousse night at the carnival, and it's kettle corn, cupcakes at Tiffany's, vanilla butter fudge, and zucchini bread. And I got this in one of my samplers, and I was like, "Wow, this is really, really good." It got a little beat up um, coming in, but it's okay. Still, I'll melt it. 
Are we all melted in the end? This is a beautiful bakery. There's wild berry mousse, and then there's that kettle corn cupcakes at Tiffany. Wild vanilla butter fudge and zucchini red. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. Which is the night at the carnival. Oh, I love that kettle corn note in here. So that's that blend. I have vanilla butter fudge, warm vanilla sugar, bourbon butterscotch, and zucchini bread. In the little bunt packs. Uh, I like the uh, the w vanilla butter fudge is in here. The warm vanilla sugar and there's that bourbon butterscotch in there. Not too heavy on the zucchini. This would be a great blender or on its own. And again, I've been really liking L3's like bakery scents lately. Like her vanilla bakery does so so well. Um, I got a feeling this will do very well too. So I picked this up. Okay, lots of beautiful samples from her. Let's get into Scoopa Palooza. This so I picked up nine scoops. I figured that would be enough. So um, I picked up ice cream party berry waffle cone type. Mm. I like the um, ice cream party and the berry uh, waffle cone. It's like a berry uh, bakery, creamy from the uh, ice cream party, like a vanilla cream on that berry. Mm. Very nice. And this is fresh cut grass, clean breeze, and rainstorm. Again, I'm trying to mix it up a little bit. This is very fresh from the clean breeze and the rainstorm. And I like that fresh cut grass note. This is very clean. Mmm. Fresh, but not laundry fresh. That goes well together, huh? That's a very, very nice scent. Yeah, I like to mix things up, like, and I think I've already mentioned that. Like, sometimes when you're melting so much bakery and you want to mix it up with something like this, I think this is fabulous. Uh, it's a nice, clean uh, grass. You get that grass note in there. Um, yeah, I'm, I will be happy to try this one out. So, this is Raspberry Jam, Palo Santo, and Sugar Cookie Royale. I like her raspberry, actually. So I wanted to try this because it has Palo Santo sugar cookie and raspberry. Oh, I love that. That is so good. It's like a smoky raspberry. Oh my gosh, I just like jammed my finger in there. I think it's just soft. Mmm. I don't think I need it to do that, but that's okay. Um beautiful raspberry palo blend. Uh, this is sugar cakes, bottlet pear, and vanilla lace. And mm, that is pretty. I love the sugar cakes blend. And I figured this would be good with the pear note and the um, vanilla lace. Mm, it's kind of reminding me of that pear blend that she has enchanted enchanted pears a little bit it's kind of reminded me of that of this but the vanilla lace gives a little something extra oh this is good yeah i've been liking um pear scents too lately and i know i've probably mentioned that so um this is orchid rain and dragonfly in amber and the orchid rain the dragonfly in amber is the sweet lunar eclipse and blackberry amber I believe and then the orchid rain is something else oh it's so pretty i had the dragonfly and amber blend and i got that in a d stash so when i saw that she was offering this um i wanted to give it a try this is such a beautiful blend when this is warming it's that blackberry amber with the lunar eclipse it's so pretty it's kind of body care leaning but the amber note gives a little something 
mm, with the rain but this orchid rain gives a little bit of freshness too at the same time so i look forward to trying that one out this is mayor of halloween town lord of misrule lush type and lunar eclipse pretty 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 i've been liking that lord of misrule lately Mm, it kind of it reminds me of patchouli, and I got that from Angela. Angela mentioned that to me. She was like, because I didn't know what Lord of Misrule was, and I guess it's a lush type. But she's right. It does kind of have a patchouli vibe, which I like. And it's mixed with uh, Mayor of Halloween, Lord of Misrule, lush type, and Lunar Eclipse. Mm, it's very, very pretty. Very pretty. You got that lunar eclipse in there. Kind of reminds me of like a patchouli, not bakery, perfume kind of, but not heavy where it's going to give you a headache. I can't do like straight patchouli from a perfume. It gives me kind of like a, a headache, but like mixed in with wax, it's like totally different. So anyway, pear cashmere and um, pear and cashmere glow with sandalwood so i thought i'd give that a try mm -hmm. very pretty ah i like that it's the cashmere and the um the cashmere glow with the sandalwood and the pear oh that's a good that is a good mix mm -hmm. i'm glad i picked up some pear scents Yep, all started with Enchanted from her that I got in a D-stash from my friend Lucy, so that's on there. Mm, Enchanted is such a good pear uh, bakery scent. It's so, so pretty. So, And then I got just Dragonfly and Amber, um, and the other one I got was mixed with the Orchid Reigns. I don't know if... Is that my dog? He's barking. <laughs> All right, it's the, yeah, it's just the dragonfly and amber, which is the sweet lunar eclipse and the blackberry amber. It's so pretty. Oh, yeah, so I picked up that on its own, and then I picked it up with the, where'd it go? Um, Orchid Rain, so yeah, I wanted to try that out. This blend is so, so pretty. I had that, I think I already mentioned it, and I fell in love with it, and I was like, yes. So happy to have that at least. So, and then I picked up uh, pistachio, vanilla butter fudge, and zucchini bread in a scoopable. Oh my gosh. Her pistachio blends are absolutely fabulous. Oh, I love that with the vanilla butter fudge and the zucchini. Yeah, so those are my scoops. I will go over the. <laughs> samples i have a boatload she's very generous with samples so i just want to mention that okay so i have key lime pie sugar sugared shortbread sugar cookie royale and strawberry pound cake oh that's good it's key lime and strawberry yeah very nice love that blend together I love it blended together. Lilith. Not sure what Lilith is, but we'll give it a sniff. Um, what is that? Is that like mint? It's kind of, it smells like butter mints a little bit. I could be way off. Or something maybe woodsy. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard to pick up a scent like that when it's when it's super small <laughs> or a sample I should say um but I appreciate the samples so sweet lavender jet puff mallow and sugar cookie sugar cakes mm -hmm. like a nice lavender um herbal lavender it smells like to me but it's mixed with the um sugar cakes so okay beautiful i will use that for nighttime melting eight crazy nights which i have 
I have that in a loaf. This is a fabulous blend. And I got it in a cute little dog bone. How cute is this? It's like a Blackberry Bakery. Oh, it's really good. So, thank you. Eight Crazy Nights. Um, cookie Therapy. Cookie Cottage and Cookie Therapy. Everybody raves about the Cookie Cottage. And the Cookie Therapy is good, too. I think there's pretzel in the Cookie Therapy. Mmm. It's like a rich cookie. Really good. This is Disney World Animal Kingdom Lodge type. This is like a really nice scent. I was smelling this before. And I've smelled these already, but it's been a while. So I'm revisiting it again. Revisiting it again. This is like a... I don't know. It's, it's fresh. It's it's kind of has a woodsy note to it. Oh my gosh, I'm showing that. This is really pretty. I would get this if she offered it, but I think I I think it was probably one of those hotel samplers, Disney World Animal Kingdom Lodge type. That is really really pretty. Wow. Oh, okay. I like that. Georgia peach sandalwood. Vanilla sandalwood. And I like to mix these um, samplers, samples, or, or blend them on its own. Mmm. It's a nice peach. It's not too heavy. It's mixed with vanilla sandalwood, so that gives it a nice touch. And we have mystery... Oh, I thought that was more... Mystery scents. I don't know what that could be, but some type of mystery. That smells like peppermint. Oh my gosh, how cute is it? It's crab. <laughs> okay. I'm going to get my other boxes and I will be right back. Okay, hi. Welcome back. Um, all right. I picked up three samplers. I picked up the blue sugar sampler. I love these samplers. It's like just the right amount of wax to try something out. The zucchini sampler, of course, because I love her zucchini bread. And I picked up the pink chiffon sampler. And I smell them all, but I'll share just what's in there so um, you guys have an idea. Um, but there's, so this is the blue sugar sampler. And I was like, ooh, blue sugar with uh, lots of bakery. Most of it is. So this is pie crust um, blue sugar plum crazy. And, like, what a great deal this is. I think you get all of this for, like, $14. So, and this is sugared uh, shortbread blue sugar orange chiffon cake. There's something about that orange chiffon cake that I absolutely like. Yeah, that is good. With a hint of blue sugar in there. And then you got the pie crust and that plum crazy in there. That's good. I said I wasn't going to smell them all because I already smelled them already, but it's been a little while. Vanilla Bean Noel Blue Sugar Chocolate Chip Cookies. This is, today is October 3rd, Blue Sugar and Tres Leche Cake. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. I love that hint of blue sugar with all those bakery notes. Really, really good. Okay. This is Spearmint Blue Sugar and Stainless Steel. I'm trying to remember. Fresh. That stainless steel is very fresh. Um, but I, that's an interesting blend with uh, Spearmint too. So I look forward to trying that. And this is Zucchini Bread, Pipe Smoke, and Blue Sugar. I love blue sugar and zucchini bread, so, yeah. Ooh, that's good with the zucchini bread and the blue sugar. The pipe smokes in there, too. That's different. I like that. And the last one in here is the uh, buttermint blue sugar and cotton candy. Very nice. Very nice. So that is the blue sugar sampler. Let me just throw this back in. And then we can go over the um, zucchini sampler. 
zucchini bread sampler. Okay. So this one is whole vanilla bean zucchini bread and strawberry passion. Yeah, very nice. Love lovely zucchini blend with that strawberry. What is over here? Okay, excuse me. Um, apple butter zucchini bread and apple strudel. Hmm. Very, very nice. This is uh, buttery gingerbread zucchini bread in Cafe Vienna. I love her gingerbread blend too. Mm, especially mixed with zucchini and that Cafe Vienna. It's mostly gingerbread and, um, oh, I think I might have to, this one broke, but that's okay. I will move that to the side and throw that in the bag. This is spiced sugar donut spiced chestnut zucchini bread. Mm hmm. Nice. The chestnuts. I like chestnuts and zucchini. That's a good one. Yeah. This one is oat oatmeal milk and honey sea salted caramel and zucchini bread. I feel like this is, I'm seeing a lot of oatmeal milk lately. Oops. There's honey in here too. Okay. Very nice. This is uh, zucchini bread, frankenberry, and pizel. Or pizel. Pizel or pizel? Oh. Mm. I love that. Um, the frankenberry gives it a nice berry note to the zucchini bread. And this is Snickerdoodle, Snickerdoodle Circus Concession and Zucchini Bread. And Lemon Pound Cake Bread Strawberry Sugar and Zucchini. So, eek. Mm, that Lemon Pound Cake is good. And then this one. I just want to smell this one really quick. Snickerdoodle. Mm, that one's good. That's a nice fall scent. I love that snickerdoodle note and then the surface concessions in there too. So, and zucchini. So that's a zucchini sampler. Yeah. I look forward to trying these out. One in here, I gotta, that broke, but these are beautiful. I usually get two to three melts out of these. Usually two. I usually cut it in half, but you could do three if you wanted to. So, all right, that's the zucchini sampler. And of course I picked up the pink chiffon sampler. So, this is Champagne Toast, Pink Chiffon, and Blackberry. Love Champagne Toast. Let me see this. Mm, very, very nice. Love Pink Chiffon and Wax, so of course I had to grab that. It's a good one. They're all good. Um, this is Salty Sea Air, Saltwater Taffy, and Pink Chiffon probably just more oh, it's good I like the salty sea air note with that that's really good I know I wasn't planning on smelling these because I would be sitting here all day but black lace and pink chiffon hey eh, come on out oh that's pretty that's just a pretty pretty scent I don't know what that black lace is but it's very pretty and this is vanilla patchouli and pink chiffon. It's different, huh? Never had vanilla like patchouli and pink chiffon. Pink sugar for sure. Oh, I like that. That's different. Dark, sultry. But the chiffon gives it some type of like, gives a little something. Very pretty. This is Hawaiian sandalwood, pink chiffon, and Hawaiian hibiscus. Okay. I smell the um, sandalwood note. And a little bit of the pink chiffon. But I'd like to see how these come out on warm, so. 
Okay. And this is Eek. Renew and Refresh um, type from Bath and Body Works in pink chiffon. Oh, that's so pretty. Wow, oh, that's fresh. Oh, that is really, really pretty. Wow. Like a fresh body care, like, but with the pink chiffon in there. Oh, very, very nice. Pink sands, pink chiffon, and vanilla lace. This is the one I really, I smelled, oh, it's so pretty. Get the pink sands, a, pink, a hint of pink chiffon, and the vanilla lace is mingled in there. I don't really smell that on cold, but I'm sure that'll come out on warm. This is the one I, I didn't really smell. I smelled the blue sugar and the, and the um, zucchini bread, so I was like, all right. The pink chiffon, I had it like up in the shelf. <laughs> There, I couldn't really reach. So that was the pink chiffon sampler. Very nice, right? That was part of my pre-order. So I picked up those. I feel like I have a bunch of, a bunch of scent shots now. <laughs> oh, Lord. Let's get into this. Is this the... Oh, gosh. Okay, you know what? Let's do this one last because this box is a lot. Um, So that was part of my pre-order. And then I'm going to go into the rest here. Um, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight loaves. And I said to myself, well, oh, don't buy any more loaves. Here I am with more loaves, but L3 is an exception for that. So samples, always very um, generous with the samples. Thank you, Jen and Trish. So I know I spoke about this blend um, in, my, uh, in my top 10 cents. And that's the blueberry muffin and zucchini bread. And I had to pick this up in a loaf because her blueberry muffin and zucchini bread is phenomenal. Oh, goodness. Happy to have it. Ha very happy to have it. So, oh, it's so good with the blueberry muffin. So I picked that up in the loaf. Uh, blackberry fluffy. Oh, I forgot I got this. Blackberry fluffy towels and salty sea air. I love blackberries, so I'm thinking about getting her salty sea air scent or blend on its own. This is so pretty with the fluffy towels and the blackberry. It's just, oh, it's like, it's just blended so well. Oh, wow, that's so pretty. Like it's, it's clean, but airy from the salty sea air. And then there's a little bit of sweetness from the blackberry, but this is blended so well. That's blackberry fluffy towels and salty sea air. I picked that up in a loaf. I picked up um, pink sugar, Liliana's lullaby and warm vanilla sugar. I've been falling in love with a lot of warm vanilla sugar lately, so. If I see something with warm vanilla sugar, I'm like, I need to grab it. This is a very pretty blend. I, just the Liliana's Lullaby is pretty. It's like a nice um, bedtime scent. Like lavender. Is it the Johnson & Johnson Baby? Lavender Baby, I believe. And then you have warm vanilla sugar and pink sugar in here. Wow. Stunning. Happy to have this blend. Um, I just picked up cotton candy on its own. Oh, look how vibrant this is. It's not quite pink, but it's like a red, red hot pink, I would say. It's like red and pink. But her cotton candy is just really good. So, and then again, I can use this for blending or on its own, but but this is a cotton candy like you can smell so because i have a lot of cotton candies in my collection and some have great throw and some don't some of them it's like bare <laughs> and it's okay because sometimes it's a light scent but hers you can smell it <laughs> and i like that so and her cotton candy frosting is good her cotton candy is it cotton candy craze or cotton craze that's another good one too i have that in my collection so um Pink Sugar, Pink Chiffon, and Sugar Cookie Royale. Oh, 
love these two blended together, so. Oh my gosh, with the sugar cookie royale. Pink sugar, pink chiffon. Yeah, beautiful with that sugar cookie. Uh, this would be good too on its own, or you could blend it with strawberry, blueberry, whatever you want. This would be good. Wow, very, very nice. Blackberry, that would be good with that too. Um, I picked up Beach Nights, just on its own, Beach Nights. I have a ton of Beach Nights in my collection now because it kind of went ham on Beach Nights. Uh, her Beach Nights is really, really good. And I also picked up a loaf in a stash. And I think it's um, Beach Nights with like cotton candy and yellow cake or something like that. But it's so pretty. I love it. And um, I will melt it. So it's a beautiful, beautiful Beach Nights blend. Happy to have that. Um, is my light gone? I can't. Let's just keep going. Zucchini bread. I just picked up a whole loaf of zucchini bread. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna get zucchini bread. Like I said, I love L3 zucchini bread. Oh, so good. Mm. So just zucchini bread I picked up. <laughs> okay, snap back in. And one more loaf. This is Cupcakes at Tiffany's Pink Sugar. Um, buttercream frosting and sugar cookie royale. Oh, I love that cupcakes at Tiffany note. It's just pink sugar with beautiful bakery. Oh my goodness, is buttercream frosting and sugar cookie royale. This is gonna be so good. Mm, I love my pink sugar bakery, so yeah, I grabbed this. Happy to have that. Okay, so that was my pre-order. And then she had a sale. Oh my gosh. And um, I was like, okay, <laughs> you know what? Let me put this back on, be right back. Okay, hi, welcome back. Let's get into this box. That's why I wanted to go like review like what I have. Um, with L3 because I've bought a lot and I'm like, let's see what I have. And then, you know, cause it's loafs and I already have enough loafs in my collection. So, uh, all right. So she had 20% off, no 10% off. And I was like, I think a lot of vendors were. So I went in and I bought, so I picked up some trig tarts and this is copper coconut. Love copper coconut. It's like a beachy kind of sunscreen smelling to me, but I like that. So I have copper coconut, and these are great for blending on their for blending or on its own. I picked up one vanilla sugar. Oh wow! Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Yeah, I'm like, there's something about warm vanilla sugar. Like, I've been such a, like, vanilla lace, vanilla bean noel, um, vanilla valentine. Like, I love all that, but I didn't realize how good warm vanilla sugar is. Like, wow. Okay, so I picked that one up. I picked up stud muffin, and it's blueberry muffin and banana nut bread. Bougie bar. <laughs> love banana lately. Oh, what a good mix. I'm kind of mad at myself because there was a Bitty Betty loaf of this and I had it in my cart and um, I was like, and it jumped out of my cart, but then I saw that this was there in a trick tart, so I grabbed it. That's great mix, blueberry muffin and banana nut bread. Been loving banana. I think I've already been saying that lately, but yes. And that's what happens too. Like I get upset, obsessed with the scent. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> like, and then I have to like stock up on it. Ay, yeah, yeah, Myla. I picked up a perfume and um, Enchanted Pear. I picked up. I love, love these perfumes. So 
Not that I needed them, but I love this scent. Um, Enchanted Pears. It's um, a house blend of pear danish, butter cookies, and butter brickle. It's so good. I hope I can grit this in the uh, Mofa Palooza, but if I don't, I have it in a perfume. Oh, wow. I love that. So I picked that up in a perfume. Yes, happy to have that. Put that in the bag. Mm, that is good. All right. This is like a kind of like a weird mix of stuff. I was trying different things out because not weird. Just a lot of this stuff is out of my, not in my alley. Am I saying that right? So I wanted to try it because I was like, why not, right? So blue sugar, sweet lavender, and seaside cotton. Mm, okay, so blue sugar. It's mostly like a lavender and like a hint of the blue sugar in there. The seaside cotton's in there too. Very pretty. Yeah, I'll melt that at night. Not that I need even any more lavender blends, but wanted to try this one out. I got that in a puppy pack. It has kind of a masculine note, but a freshness too with the lavender. So, okay, let's go to this one. Aqua verbena, coconut leaves, and a hint of copper tone. So, I picked that up in a bitty bitty loaf. Bitty bitty. Oh, it's sticking. Okay. I'm smelling the um, copper coconut, but there's the aqua verbena. I don't know what that is. It's different. I feel like it's a little masculine. There's a little coconut and then the copper tone, which is giving it a beachy vibe. This is very different. I like it though. I don't have like anything like this in my collection. So I was going outside of my comfort zone so mm, that's different i like it this would be good to melt like in the summertime yeah it's got a masculine note to it which i don't mind at all so that's a different blend i look forward to eventually trying that out and i only say eventually because i have so much wax to melt through let's look at this one this is peony blush and suede with Jo Malone type and cocoa butter cashmere. So I was like, let's give this a try. <laughs> I'm like, let's give this a try. That's actually nice. Okay. It smells like a pretty body care. I'm smelling the cocoa butter, but there's a suede note in here too. And like a floral note too, I believe, from the peony. It's like a pretty body care with the cocoa butter. I like her cocoa butter cashmere. So I didn't mind trying this one out. I was like, let's try this. It has a suede note in here, which is different, but I look forward to giving this a try. Very different. I like that. Pretty though. I like that cocoa butter. All right, that's the Peony Blush and Suede Jo Malone, I believe Jo Malone type. And then with the Cocoa Butter Cashmere, very pretty. Those are very nice. Okay, this is Flannel Sheets, Sweater Weather, and Cranberry Woods. <laughs> oh, that's nice. It's fresh. Kind of laundry-ish, but it's sweet too because there's cranberry. Oh wow, that's a good like um like laundry scent. Flannel sheets, sweater weather. That sweater weather is doing something to it. And then the cranberry woods. Oh, I like that. Mmm, that's a nice fresh like laundry scent, but with other notes to it. Not and I like laundry scents like this because again, they're not too like in your face, like, whoa, you know, some laundry scents. And I think I've already might have mentioned that are very like super strong. And you're like, whoa, I like when it's mingled in with other things like a fruit or a, or like sweater weather. I enjoy sweater weather. That's a bath and body work scent. So yeah, 
happy to have it. Flannel sheet, sweater weather, and cranberry woods. Okay. Blueberry cheesecake, blueberry sugar pie crust. Had to get this because I love, I think I've mentioned blueberry cheesecake and I love it. So, especially mixed with blueberry sugar and pie crust. And she does blueberry very well. Oh, it's so good. Yes, I love it. Blueberry cheesecake, blueberry sugar, blueberry pie crust. A beautiful blueberry bakery. Very nice. Yeah, I like that cheesecake note. This is Egyptian Amber Cotton Sheets and Amber Romance. Now, I've had the Egyptian um, Amber and Cotton Sheets, but there is the Amber Romance in there, which gives it that kind of like a perfumey note, but... Sorry, let me smell that again. Oh, it's nice. It's clean, like kind of like a, like a cotton clean. But there's that amber romance in there, which is that's a Bath and Body Works scent too, which rounds out the the cotton sheets. Oh, it's, it's really pretty. It's really really pretty. Again, got a little bit of everything because I wanted to try things out. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's finish the fluted, the fluted tarts. This I picked is crunch berry cereal, strawberry pound cake, um, and sugar cookie royale. Yeah, this is a scent I will absolutely enjoy. <laughs> I love that crunch berry cereal. Hmm. Mixed with the sugar cookie royale. Oh, it's just so good. It's the strawberry and the crunch berries. It's like a strawberry berry bakery <laughs> cookie. It smells really good. I like that one. I knew I would. Okay, this is Hestia's. Am I saying that? Hestia's heat which is raspberry, strawberry raspberry guava. And the Hestia's heat is something. I'm going to look it up. So I picked this up. I love strawberry raspberry guava, but there's more to it. Yeah. It's that guava note that I like. Mm. Okay. But the Hestia's is something. Let me see. Is this my... Uh, I think it is. Wait, no. Oh, it's right here. I have so many invoices. Okay. So that was a fluty tart. Oh my gosh. There's like 30 something things in this. No, that's a black cake. Is that it there? No, it's Egyptian cotton. Enchanted pear swimming pool. I just wanted it. Okay. So Hestia's heat is um in strawberry raspberry guava. It's strawberry passion vanilla smoothie and serendipity so that's what the hestia's heat is i believe and then you have the strawberry raspberry guava in there so i wanted to give that a try so and i love serendipity so it's a really nice strawberry raspberry guava blend let me smell it again now that i'm smelling it like i was like i can smell a hint of the um serendipity which is that coconut blend so i picked this blend up <laughs> Okay. I try to keep them flat, like when I, uh, like this, when I, um, store them. So, all right, this video is probably super long, but it's okay. Um, again, I was into bananas and I was like, let's try bananas out. And, um, I saw a booze banana cotton candy frosting vanilla ice cream cream and whipped cream and pie crust and I was kind of hesitant on this because number one I like banana blends but a booze banana has oh, it's a great banana bakery so that is uh, I believe a booze banana has like a clove scent in there it's not on here but um, I believe there's like a clove uh, 
note in there and I was a little hesitant on it but then I like typed it in um, like the, the L3 group um, Facebook group and and I saw a few people posting saying how good it was so I wanted to give it a try I, I'm not smelling any clove whatsoever this is really really good I figured it would be good because it's cotton candy frosting vanilla ice cream whipped cream and pie crust I figured maybe the clove note would give it something different, but it smells like a beautiful banana bakery. Not runty. Um, again, been loving banana, so <laughs> I wanted to try this. So that's a booze, a booze banana, cotton candy, vanilla, vanilla ice cream, and whipped cream pie crust. All right, Myla, move on. <laughs> uh, I picked up. Flying monkeys in a scoopable. She made me a spoochula. I have a, it was silver in the last one, and this is just banana bubble gum and ice cream. So that bubble gum note goes very well with the banana. Oh wow, that is good. Flying monkeys. So I wanted to give that a try. So I got one scoopable. Hey, eh, okay. Um, I was going to, did anybody get her Halloween, um, what's it called? Uh, the Halloween thing that she had. I can't think of the name because my, it was like 13 days of Halloween, I believe. But I, I was going to get that, but I didn't, I don't know if it sold out. But anyway, moving on. <laughs> this is warm vanilla sugar, cashmere, warm vanilla sugar. Caught my eye with the warm vanilla sugar lavender and cashmere and i love her mayflowers so and it's beautiful with the warm vanilla sugar and then you have lavender and cashmere it's such a pretty pretty lavender scent with that warm vanilla sugar very very pretty so i picked that one up uh, this is Blackberry Bling spice, Spiced Cider and Palo Santo. I took a chance on this one, but I wanted to try it. And I figured it's only in a cloud cake, I think these, these are called. Yeah, I'm not getting much spice on that, which is good, because I was kind of nervous about the spice. I always get the lingo wrong. I just put my address on there. <laughs> Um, what is she? Yeah, cloud cakes. Because I know Pharmacist Dorta has these type of blends. So I'm getting blackberry. And like a little spice, but the Palo Santo, um, oh, it's spice cider. That's different. Okay. I don't know. It, it doesn't smell bad. It smells like blackberry, a little bit of spiced and the Paula's in the background. Hmm, I look forward to trying it. It doesn't smell bad. It's just not something I normally would get. And I was like, let me try it. It has Paulo in it. <laughs> and I do like um, like apple cider. Um, but this one's not coming off too spicy. So I look forward to trying it, seeing how it, you know, goes. And again, these are the type of blends that you try. And then you're like, you're kind of iffy at first about it. And then you try it and you're like, wow, this is really good actually. So anyway, Blackberry Bling, Spice Cider, and Palo Santo. It's time to move on, Myla. All right. This is um, Mahogany Tiki Wood, Tropical Elements, and Let Them Eat Cake. I was like, yes, this sounds really good. And it is. It's the mahogany tiki wood. I should have had another one of this, huh? Tropical elements. I'm smelling mahogany tiki wood in like the let them eat cake on cold. It's kind of woodsy, a little masculine, but there's something, um, but there's that let them eat cake in there too, which is that dupe perfume. Ugh, it's, it's, it smells like a nice pretty perfume with the mahogany tiki wood. It's a little bit of a woodsy note. I'm not getting like tropical. I don't know what tropical elements are, like tropical fruits. Mahogany tiki wood. Yes, and they let them eat cake. 
Hmm. I like to see how this one comes out on warm because I'm wondering what that tropical element is. So, okay. I picked up this blend. <laughs> okay. Cloud cake. And then this one, um, is vanilla ice cream dark night bay and dark dark night bay rum um and cuban tobacco so i was like well, let's give this a try i don't know how i feel about this one yeah i don't know how i feel about this one this has um i wanted to try it because it had that tobacco note, which I'm starting to like a little bit of like tobacco and wax, but it's the rum. I think it's the rum. I eat vanilla ice cream, dark night bay rum. It kind of smells like licorice. But you know what? You never know. <laughs> I may like this on warm, so I don't want to judge it on cold, but um, that one's a wild card for me, so... I never, you never know. I might like it on warm. So, but anyway, moving on. I got two loaves. Like, should I be getting more loaves? Yeah. Especially with loaf, loaf of pones around the corner. Lord of Misrule, warm vanilla sugar, and tonka bean. Saw the warm vanilla sugar. So I like tonka bean. And I'm starting to really like Lord of Misrule. So, this is beautiful. Oh, it smells like a beautiful body care with that Lord of Misrule. Dark, sultry, but not too, like, heavy. You know what I mean? Oh, it's just pretty. This would be, like, a nice bedroom scent. Or wherever you're feeling, like, putting it on, you know? But this is a really pretty... I like the warm vanilla sugar. It, it rounds out the Lord of Misrule, so... And, um, yeah, it kind of reminds me of, like, patchouli a little bit. Like Angela mentioned to me. I, Angela, if you're watching. <laughs> um, I think it's Angela's Melting Moments, I think it is. So, yeah, absolute sweetheart. So, all right, moving on. So, this is Swimming Pool and Sea Minerals. And I love the Swimming Pool, um scent or blend and then I saw the sea minerals and I absolutely love this I like the swimming pool and the sea minerals give it a little something it's fresh not like chlorine but but oh it's just pretty it's like a fresh like it's so hard to explain explain swimming pool but man it's beautiful especially mixed with the sea minerals I really enjoy the swimming pool blend, so I figured that would be good with the sea minerals. So, very happy with these loaves. Oh man, this is gonna need this was gonna be long. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, let's do this. Bunt cakes, pink chiffon, blueberry cotton candy craze. Look at the pink. I uh, I melted something with um sassy girl aroma and um it's blueberry and uh pink chiffons and it was phenomenal so yes i look forward to trying that out so i picked that blend up yeah i know i went a little crazy with l3 i'm like <laughs> all right this is beauty sleep fresh cut grass boardwalk mellow clouds it's lavender cream blueberries and cream and cup of cake that's what I think the beauty sleep is. And then the fresh cut glass and the, and the boardwalk metal clouds. I thought this was different. I was like, let's try that. She has some like unique blends. Okay. I smell lavender and, and like a uh, grass note. Hmm. It's different. It's not bad. It's not like, oh my gosh, it's, it's different. I'm not used to it because I'm usually like, like fresh cut grass. I usually have it with like strawberry or something. I've never had it with lavender, but that lavender cream has blueberries and cream and cup of cake. So I'd like to see how this comes out on warm. So I picked this blend up. Yeah. Very unique. To me it is. Moving on. 
I have cupcakes at Tiffany's, oatmeal cookies, and sweet cream and snickerdoodle. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is so, and again, the grate on its own or, or blended with anything you want. Cupcakes at Tiffany's, oatmeal cookies, sweet cream, and snickerdoodle. Yeah, really happy to have this. I like these buns. I feel like you get a good amount of um, uh, warms, uh, melts, I should say. So even one button gives you like a few melts. So yeah, I don't know. I just, I really enjoy her buns. They're so cute too. Sweet on Paris, Applejack, and Raspberry. I tried, I love Sweet on Paris. I was like, let's try it with that Applejack and Raspberry. That's different. I smell the Sweet on Paris and like an apple. Not a Mac apple. Maybe the um, Applejack. I smell an apple, Sweet on Paris. Like a hint of raspberry in the background. This is going to be pretty on warm. I look forward to trying that out. This is Flower Bomb Blackberry Mallow. I love the Flower Bomb perfume, so I was like, let's try this out. And this is so pretty with the blackberry. It's a fruity floral, but the blackberry is very, very nice with that. Ooh, that's pretty. Very, very pretty. Okay. Black Flower Bomb Blackberry Mallow. I know this is super long. Okay, four more and then we'll get into the... <laughs> this is Rainbow Sherbet, Saltwater Taffy, Coconut Cream Pie, Vanilla Lace, Ice Cream Sugar, Ice Cream Sugar, and uh, Vanilla Ice Cream and Sugar Cookie Royale. Love, love Rainbow Sherbet, Sherbet blends, blends. And it smells like Rainbow Sherbet, but it has all those other bakery notes with it. Like a creamy rainbow sherbet. Beautiful. Okay. Blue sugar escape room. Peppermint whipped cream sugar cookie and royal sugar cookie royale. I wanted to try this out. I do enjoy blue sugar and peppermint, so I was like, let's give this a try. It's so pretty because it's got that masculine note. Peppermint whipped cream sugar cookie royale. Mmm. The blue sugar goes well with that. So nice mask, kind of like a little masculine note with the um, peppermint. Love that. I will melt that at night. Um, orange. You know what I wanted? There was an orange chiffon zucchini loaf, I believe. And I, with zucchini, with, I'm, I'm sorry, with zucchini bread, I think I said that. And that sold out of my cart. So I saw this and I was like, let's give it a try because I like that orange chiffon cake. It's really good. This is cranberry orange chiffon cake and sugar cookie royale. Wow. I like cranberry. I don't have a ton of cranberry, but I like it with the orange chiffon cake. Mm. It goes well together. I would get more of that. That's really pretty actually really good and then the last one here is salted caramel blackberry white elephant exchange this is good the caramel is not too much in this i didn't think it would be because of the it's salted there's blackberry and white white elephant exchange and the white elephant exchange is powdered donuts vanilla wafers white cake and vanilla frosting that is beautiful it's like a hint of caramel with the blackberry bakery yeah i like that i don't have a ton of caramel in my collection but i do like it blended like this so happy to have that yeah that was my order <laughs> this is a lot i know and i got a spatula love her spatulas and um i think i said she gave me a silver one so okay let's do that so now i know what i want what i have and um let's get into some of the samples and i know this is so long i might break this into two videos i'm not sure yet but okay i have crazy about you i think that's a scoopable it smells like woodsy 
It smells like like Palos in there or something. I like that. Very nice. I have Benny and June. I actually picked this up in a B bar, like on a D on Macari. The seller was selling it for like fifteen dollars, and I, it's like so. I picked that up. I love Benny and June, and it's um, blackberry. I believe it's like blackberry um, honey cornbread or something and um, something else, but it's really, really a nice blend. <gasps> this is buttermint coconut cream pie and sugar cakes. I will melt this at night. Yep, I love buttermints. Yum, yum, yum. It's like a nice creamy peppermint. Three more, three more. Yeah, I might, now that I'm looking at the time, I'm like, I might just do that into another video. We'll see. Sorry, I'm like talking as I'm going here. Vanilla balsam, Palo Santo, and cashmere cedar. Hmm. That goes well together. Never had um like uh like a tree note like that, or like it smells like a Christmas tree with Palo. I like that actually. That goes well together. Okay. This is strawberry rhubarb pie and crust. I love strawberry rhubarb pie. I have two, I have one from K's I'm finishing up. And um, I have one from Broadway Wax too, so. But anyway, great blend. Uh, apple Jack and Raspberry, Hello Sugar and Fresh Picked Strawberries. There's that Apple Jack and Raspberry again, so. That's a nice size sample. Mmm. It's like apple and like different type of fruits. Oh, it's because there's raspberry, sugar. Um, mmm. I, I can smell like the, the apple in there and the um, raspberry and strawberry. That's a good mix. That's a nice size sample. Okay. Yeah, so um, that's my last few hauls from L3 Waxy Wonders. I wanted to go over this because um, I obviously Loaf of Palooza is coming up, and I was like, let me figure out what I have first or what I picked up before um, I buy more loaves because I'm, I have a ton of loaves, and I really need to work through them, but it's okay. Let me know in the comments if you guys – picked up any of the same blends that I did or have any of these blends in your collection. I would love to hear your thoughts on that. Um, I love when you guys comment. So, uh, yeah, I just want to mention that. Um, okay guys, thank you very much. If you hung in there with me, I really appreciate it. I know this is long. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful day and night, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Take care.